Let's look at evaluating functions. For example, if f and g are defined as follows, let's find all four of these. f of negative 2, f of x squared, g of 3, and g of x plus 1. Now we're given that f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x plus x squared. So when we are evaluating this function at any input, we put the input here and here. Let's write that out. So we have f of any input is equal to 2 minus 3 times that input plus that input squared. Now what about the function g? We're given that g of x is equal to x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 1. So when we are evaluating g at any input, we put the input here as well as here. So let's write that out as well. Namely, g of any input is equal to that input plus 4 divided by 2 times that input and then minus 1. All right, so we're first asked to find f of negative 2. which means that this negative 2 here is our input. Which means we put it over here and here. That is, this is equal to 2 minus 3 times this input, or negative 2, plus that input, or negative 2, quantity squared, which is equal to 2 plus 6 plus 4, or 12, which would be your answer to the first part. All right, what about f of x squared? Now, don't let it confuse you that this is a variable now, and moreover, that it's the same variable x that we see up here in the definition of our function. Remember, whatever's inside these parentheses is our input which means we need to put it in over here and here. That is, this is equal to 2 minus 3 times that input, or times x squared, plus that input, or x squared, quantity squared, which is equal to 2 minus 3x squared plus x to the fourth which would be our answer to the second part. All right, what about this third one here, g of 3? Now we'll start working with our function g. So 3, then, is going to be our input. Which means, looking over here on the right, we're going to plug it in here, and we're going to plug it in here. That is, this is equal to the input, which is 3, plus 4, divided by 2 times the input, or 2 times 3, minus 1, which is equal to 7 divided by 6 minus 1, which is 5, which would be our answer to the third part. And finally, what about g of x plus 1? Again, don't let it confuse you that you see a variable here inside the parentheses. And moreover, that it's the same variable as we have up here in the definition of g. Remember, whatever is inside the parentheses is our input. So this whole quantity, x plus 1, is our input, 
which means over here on the right, we're going to plug it in here and here. Namely, this is equal to the input, or x plus 1, plus 4, divided by 2 times the input, or 2 times x plus 1, and then minus 1, which is equal to x plus 5, divided by, now distributing our 2, we have 2x plus 2, minus 1, which is equal to x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 1, which would be our last answer. And this is how we evaluate functions. Whatever we see inside the parentheses, we put in as our input. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.